Reading the treble clef often takes weeks. Now, that's not because it's particularly difficult, it's not really hard, it's just that most music books like to go step by step by step by step. And you might have a 30 page music book and you'll probably do maybe two pieces a week. So suddenly it's gonna take you 15 weeks just to deal with what could just be learning the right hand. But in this video, we are gonna do it rapidly. We're going to learn 90% of the treble clef, probably in the space of about half an hour, if you can put in the concentration to do it. So let's jump straight in. Imagine in your head right now, a circle. A circle that's colored in, and it's got a horizontal line going through the middle of it. I'll show you this in a moment, but for now, I just want you to visualize it. A circle, with a horizontal line going through the middle. That's going to be our middle C. Next up, we've got a note just above it. It's gonna be just to the right when I write it down, and that won't have a line through it. That, if you imagine a horizontal line of that middle C, this note here will be resting on top of it. Here's a helpful tip for you, and you'd be surprised some people miss this. You only have seven notes to choose from on the piano. Seven letters, I should say. Seven letters from the alphabet, starting from A, working their way through to G. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, in case you didn't know your alphabet, and then it loops around again. So after G, you're back to A. If you're going in reverse order, if you've gone, oh no, uh, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, you're gonna loop back around to G. Those are the only notes, the only letters we have to deal with. So back to that C, the note up here, if you're going to go up, it's like you're reading through the alphabet. So from C, we have now hit D. I think it's about time I go to my desk. So it's gonna make a lot more sense if we just go and draw the thing. So we've got middle C. That looks like that circle which we mentioned before with a line going through it. Then the note afterwards that I mentioned was D. So we had, so imagine we've got C, this is in a whole new section, and then just resting on the line as if it were to carry over is the note D. So we don't just want C and D. That doesn't make sense for this lesson because we are aiming to get 90% of the treble clef down. So I'm gonna draw out the stave. We've got one, two, three, four, five lines. That's looking nice and neat. Can I get the treble clef symbol in here? Yeah, that'll do the job. That'll do the job. Anyways, let's say we've got our middle C. And that's down there. That's where it'd be positioned. It's actually just below all five of the staves. And the line that's going through it basically represents one of these lines, and it's called a ledger line, if you want to remember that. The note just above it, as we said, is D. I know I keep repeating myself, but if you get this information in right now, it'll help so much more later. Anyways, if I just draw a line over there, we can sort of separate our next section up. So now we're gonna learn every single note that would appear on the lines. And those notes are E, G, B, D, and F. And how are we gonna remember those? We are gonna remember them by using a mnemonic. What is a mnemonic, you may ask? Oh, it's getting crazy here. A mnemonic is a way of remembering a passage or a series of letters by twisting it into something else. It's the way people try and remember whole decks of cards by creating a story. Or how you remembered the points on a compass with North, East, no, North, East, uh, never eat shredded wheat to work out North, East, South, West. We're gonna do the same thing for E, G, B, D, F, and that's every good boy deserves football. You could change the last one, you could change football to fudge, and for one of my students in particular, they prefer fire. Every good boy deserves fire. She's, uh, she's not a fan of us, guys. Anyways, anyways, so we've got, we've got the C and the D. Recognize that the C has got the horizontal line going through it. It's your main note to remember. The D is just the one above it. And then for every single note that follows the lines, we've got every good boy deserves football. Right, now we're going to go to the notes on the gaps, which means I've got to draw out another stave. So one, two, three, four, five. And I almost drew a bass clef then, that wouldn't have made any sense. That's a better treble clef, nice. So I'm gonna draw in the C and D from before. 
just so you've got a reference point. Hopefully that still looks clear enough. And we've got the line separating it. Now, if you remember, we've still got every good boy deserves football going through the lines, but now we're gonna focus on the notes in the gaps. So let me just draw them in. We've got F, A, C, E, and hopefully you won't need a mnemonic for this one. That looks like I've drawn another line from the safe, but that's not, that's just, it's just face. Remember face and you've got all the notes in the gaps. So to reiterate, we've got C, we've got D. C with the line for it, D directly above it. We've got uh, on our sheet over here, every good boy deserves football on the lines. That's our way of remembering what the notes are there just by the first letter of each word if that wasn't obvious already. Then in between those lines, we've got four gaps, which are F, A, C, and E. Already we have got down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 notes worked out just in the treble clef. If you can memorize those patterns, you've got 90% of the treble clef sorted out straight away. And if you want to work this out logically, just, just have a think about what these letters do. We start on C, then we go directly up to the next gap. If you're going up, that also means we're going up, sort of up and along the alphabet. So we go C to D. The next up in the alphabet and next up in the notes, we've got a line is E, C, D, E. If we're going to get to our gap now, that's our F sort of in here. I mean, it's not very easy to see, but hopefully you get the point that we've got C, D, E. Now in the gap, we've got F. Oddly enough, the next line is G. So it follows a really straightforward linear pattern. If you get that down, then you can work out any note that's above the stave or even below the stave. But we don't need to get to that quite just yet. Once we've got to the G though, as I said before, the letters run out. We don't use the whole alphabet in notes. So we revert back to A. C, D, E, F, G, A in the gap, B on the line, C in the gap, D on the line, E in the gap, F on the line up there, 11 notes. So just take a look at that. Remember the pattern. Every good boy deserves football and face. Every good boy deserves football and face. I'm gonna hypnotize you into remembering it. Anyways, let's go back over here. Did that all make sense? I know I went a little bit quickly through it, but hopefully just from this lesson alone, you've got a little bit of a broader idea of how to read the treble clef. That's C with line for it, the D above, every good boy deserves football, and in the gaps, we've got the word face. If you want some more help on this topic and a slightly slower paced article, then take a look at my website, www.robharveymusic.com where you can find all the information that I just said throughout this video plus more. I've included a worksheet and a practice guide as well in order to get your sight reading up to scratch. I truly believe that if you put in just maybe an hour's worth of practice, even if you've gone from nothing with the treble clef, you'll have it down in no time. One of the bonus challenges in the practice is to actually read 20 random notes in under 15 seconds in the treble clef. You will get to that point. If you would like to keep up to date on the latest videos and lessons, please subscribe to me here on YouTube and press that bell button. It really makes a difference when you get notified when I've released a video. Furthermore, if you don't just trust YouTube, you can go to my website and join the school there. Again, that's www.robharveymusic.com. Stay motivated, keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next one.